A wonderful scene here at Wembley. An ocean of fans descending upon the stadium for what promises to be an absolutely riveting FA Cup final. It's Manchester City. They face Manchester United. And it's live on EA TV. At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson. And we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It is Manchester City up against Manchester United. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Ederson between the posts. Riyad Mahrez plays with Jack Grealish in the wide positions. And the lone striker today is Erling Haaland. This is the team Manchester United will go with. David De Gea begins in goal. Anthony plays with Marcus Rashford in the wide positions. And Wout Weghorst is the striker. Thank you. Enjoy the game here at Wembley Stadium. Well, it might well be a game to save a Manchester United kick-off. Diogo Dallo. They might be able to get in now. Well, not allowed to continue. He had drifted into the offside position. Well, if he takes a step back to the ball and then spins in behind, he'll be onside. But he does know where the space is. Diesch. Ake. Useful looking position, you've got to say. De Bruyne. That's really good and effective physical play. Well, not making life difficult for the keeper at all. A wide attempt. Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. Well, not many would debate the point that Erling Haaland is a joy to watch whenever he's out there on the pitch. But what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Well, Derek, he's playing well at the moment. He's confident. He's making runs in behind. He always looks a threat when he gets on the ball. He's been good with the ball at his feet. And when crosses come into the box, he's looked dangerous as well. It's been a really good period for him. Well, it was straight at the keeper, but technically good goalkeeping. Given away by Manchester United. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next, and perhaps a goal from this free kick. to close down the short holding the ball up here waiting for others to arrive Rashford and in with a real chance oh a save of the highest order well he got his angles absolutely right what a good save that is
Trying to deliver it accurately. And the danger's still on. And played the pass well. Dallo. Marcus Rashford in position. Well, it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it left the boot. Well, nicely cut out. Grealish. Crossing possibilities. Holland. A promising looking attack but comes to nothing in the end Rashford now counter attacking possibilities here he's in with a chance oh yes Manchester United have made the opening statement in this final they take the lead well let's look at this again Derek because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick and his movement so clever once he gets onto it there's only one thought in his head smash it as hard as possible what a good goal <laughs> and back underway 1-0 it is Ake, Ruben Dias, Ake has it, Gundogan, Holland, timely intervention, Bruno Fernandes, now with Rashford, Shaw, Crossed in there. Will it be? Absolutely spot on with that challenge. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. All hands on deck. Surely the equaliser. With both time and space. Sensational goalkeeping from David De Gea. Mares and now Stones and back with De Bruyne can't miss surely and the keeper there to deal with it Wout Weghorst Rashford that will be a United throw Is it going to be? And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Well, here you can see the delivery from Rashford is absolutely spot on, and Fernandez's finish is excellent. He times his run, he finds that bit of space, and he was never going to miss that. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2 0. Stones. The ball with Rodri. Diaz. De Bruyne. Now with Mares. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And he's through here. gone and done and blocked for now United might be able to cash in and let's give credit to the defending 
De Bruyne. It's with Gundogan. Grealish. Nathan Ake here. Can they find a gap in the defence? Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, totalling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Grealish. Holland. Well, closed down straight away. Given away by Manchester United. What a crucial intervention inside the box. Well, there we have it. We're at the halfway mark now here at Wembley. So the second half underway, and City left with a real mountain to climb. This looks promising out wide. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Well, as you can hear, the fans think that should have been a penalty, but I'm not convinced. Now a potentially dangerous position for City. Holland. Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. <laughs> it's a short one. Gundogan, and now Rodri, Mares might still be able to do a bit of damage, and City get the throw in. John Stones, Mares, back to Holland, could reduce the deficit. Despite the adversity they suffered earlier. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. City just one behind now. Shaw. Diogo Dallo on the ball. Rafael Varan. Can he finish? Easy save. Well, there it is. United haven't had as much of the ball, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. OK. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Good movement. But they took care of the situation defensively. his body to good effect this might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity well it fizzled out 
This attack looks highly promising. Mares. Diogo Dallo. And intercepted it. Diaz. Ake. De Bruyne now. And Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. But timely defending when it mattered. Fred. Beghorst. And now Stones. Holland. Really getting stuck in. And doing all he can to grab his second of the game. Well, he's been a real live wire today. A constant threat to this back line. Here's a change for Manchester United. to be replaced by... Number 39, Scott McTominay. Delivering it. Not the best clearance. As eyes for goal. Oh, a great chance it was. Goalkeeper has it. the challenge that was required Jack Grealish Ake has it Grealish Ronaldo Silva on to De Bruyne well they've won possession back what can they do from here from City to win the ball back can they fashion something they need a goal Holland chance maybe oh a goal to level us up in the closing stages who's going to claim the trophy it's an open question here Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. got to give credit to the entire team because this was a bit like climbing Mount Everest and an astute piece of defending on the attack is there to be late drama that's really good and effective physical play that's a foul and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick and Manchester City will go to their bench. Coming right to the pitch, number four, Calvin Phillips. But the keeper able to turn us away. A stunning stop. <laughs> a 
it's a short corner. And Bernardo Silva has it. And calling upon the goalkeeper to keep things even. Well, he's got to be pleased with that. He might just have got his team a draw here. Short corner it is. They're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. With no degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. Well, this is far from over. We're going to have five minutes of stoppage time. Jack Grealish. Sloppy there, Bernardo Silva. He's in here. And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. Rashford! Well, choosing to chip, and it wasn't so very far away. Well, it was good vision, excellent technique, but not quite the end result it deserved. Riyad Mahrez and that's great work to keep it in play Manchester City still on the attack as the minutes tick away can they come up with a winner well this forthcoming corner might just do it could be their last chance to hit the front in the dying moments Who can he pick out? They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. So away they go again, the first period of extra time, and it's legitimate to ask to what extent mental strength will come into this. Looking forward to it. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Given away by City. United regaining possession. Rashford. Ake has it. And can they exploit the space out wide? Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. The referee has decided to give the free-kick decision the way of City. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. And he whips it in. Well, it still could be dangerous. Threat over for now, it seems. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. And he's broken free. It's gone in. And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And Rashford's finish gives the keeper no chance. He hits it with such venom. Well, the game has been restarted. 3-2 here. Rashford. 
Mares. And now it's Phillips. Bernardo Silva. Rodri. Yeah. Hold on. Well, goodness me. Into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp. Fred. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. And he's through here. And he clears it out of harm's way. Well, possibilities in the centre. Not the best clearance. First period of extra time completed. 15 minutes left, and then it's a penalty shootout. And so, 15 more minutes. We're into the second period of extra time here. Holland. Oh, that's really high-class goalkeeping. But now we see that the offside flag has gone up. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. They were playing fluent football, but then the foul, and now you would anticipate a yellow card. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. And a long way out. Superb block. Bernardo Silva. Will they get themselves level here? Well denied by the keeper. But really he only has himself to blame. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Holland. A City free kick forthcoming. Well, the referee making it clear on a different day it could have been a booking yeah. you'll have a go here and no way through good pressure high up the pitch Mares. Mares. Oh, he saved it well. Well, this might be the final opportunity to draw level. He's driven in the corner. And still dangerous. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Well, five minutes remaining in this the second period of extra time. Opportunity it is. Well, the attack finally comes to nothing, and the keeper has it. And using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. And very deftly cut out. And three minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Pretty simple save for Danny De Gea.
And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yep, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Full marks to the entire team. And now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. Now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.